Hey everyone, this is Mr. Z, and welcome to this AutoCAD tutorial on how to create an angled staircase, or an L-type stair as many of us call it. Let's go ahead and get started. What I'd like you to do is make sure your ortho mode is on, as well as your object snap settings. Make sure these are all selected. If they are, go ahead, press OK, and we're going to start with the first step. I'd like you to use the rectangle tool, REC, enter, and then click on one point, and we're going to drag it out a little bit. For the width of the step, we're going to use 40 inches. I'm going to press tab then on the keyboard. And for the height of the step, I'm going to use 11 inches. And I'm going to press enter. And if you do so correctly, you're going to end up with a singular step. Once you've done that, we're going to copy the step over. So use the copy command, enter, select the step, enter, and click on a point, and then move up. And we're going to do this for a total of 10 steps. So I'm just clicking once each time with that copy tool activated. OK. Then on the 10th step, we're going to add an 11th one. I'm going to press Escape twice and use the Rotate tool, R-O-T for Rotate, Enter. Select that last step, Enter. And then clicking on this point here, I'm going to revolve that 90 degrees so it looks like that. I'm going to click down once, and then I'm going to press Escape twice and begin the copy process once again. So copy, enter, select that step, enter, and we're going to copy this step an additional five times. Once you've done that, press Escape twice. We're going to select this portion of steps. We're going to use the copy command here, and we're going to start from this point and move over to that point accordingly. Now the last thing we need to do is add in two additional rectangles. So you use the rectangle command, REC, enter. And starting at this point, we're going to hover up to the line so that it creates an intersection. And we're going to start from there and connect that. And then we're going to do a mirror command. So use the mirror command, M-I-R for mirror, enter. Select this, enter and then click on the center line and drag up like so. Click once, and when it asks to erase the source object, go ahead and press No. Next, we're going to go ahead and extrude these steps. The quickest way is probably to hold down the Shift key, click in the middle scroll wheel of the mouse, and rotate your steps so you're looking at them almost isometrically. Once you've done that, use your Extrude command, EXT for Extrude. Press Enter. You're going to select the step, Enter. And each step has to go 7 inches. So I'm going to say that's 7, Enter. Then I'll go click the next one, press Enter. Whoops. And the next one will go an additional 7. So this is 14. The next one, of course, would go 21. And so on and so forth throughout this process. So 28, 35, 42. I want you to keep this going until you have all the steps in place. So just keep adding uh, two each time. Okay, and you should end up at 196. Now that everything's together, let's go ahead and make it permanent. We're going to use the union command, enter, select everything, and press enter again to fuse everything into a singular object. Okay, let's go ahead and crop out the bottom of these. To do that, what I'd like you to do is get control of your coordinate system by using the UCS command, enter, then click at the corner right over here, go up for your x direction and go over to the right here for your y direction. And you'll notice your x, y, z is now in place. Then use the line tool, enter. And starting a line from the bottom, we're going to go up here to the very top most step, except for this step over here. And we're going to use the x edges command, x edges, enter. And I'm going to hold down the control key on the keyboard. And I'm going to click on this line here to activate it. And I'm going to press enter. 
And what that's going to do is it's going to create a singular line up here so that I'll be able to use the extend command, E-X-T-E, -E, for extend, enter. And then I'm going to click on that edge there. And then I'm going to press enter. And then I'm going to hover over this line. And if you did it correctly, you should be able to extend this line up to the utmost step there. Okay? We won't need that X edge anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And then I'm going to rotate over to the next side, and I'm going to do the same process again. So UCS, enter, click there on the corner, go up, click there, click there. So I have my XYZ in place. Then I'm going to use the line tool, enter, to draw a line from here over to there. I'm going to use the X edges command, enter. Hold down control, click this line, press enter to activate it, and then use the extend command, E-X-T-E, -E, enter. Click on that edge first, enter. Click on this line, enter, and it should generate that line there. Before we move on from this one, we're going to also put down a small offset to do the offset, OFF for offset, enter. I'd like you to first specify the distance. We're just going to say 10 inches, enter. And then I'm going to click on this line and just go down with the downward direction and click once there. And then I'm going to go ahead and press enter and escape twice to exit that. So you should have a line that matches that line that's on the bottom. Okay, let's do our final UCS over here. UCS, enter starting at that corner, going up to the side here. And then we're going to draw our line in, starting at that corner, going up to the very topmost step, and then pressing Escape twice. OK, we're going to offset two sides on this, so OFF for the offset. Enter, 10 is fine. Enter, click on the line, and go down like that. Click once, Enter. Then we're going to turn it around to the other side, since this is technically on the same plane. Click on that, enter. Uh, 10 is fine, enter. Go down, click on that, and press enter one last time. And press escape twice. So you should have three lines that are facing 10 inches down on each side. Now let's go ahead and close things up over here. We're going to use the line tool. Enter, and we're just going to draw a line to connect those two together like that. Over here, we're going to use the line tool as well. Whoops, not the list tool. Line tool, enter. I'm going to connect that over with that corner there, as well as enter this over, turn it here, over to that side, turn it over to here, enter, and that is going to connect with that line there, like so. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and trim off this part by using the X edges command over here. Select that line, enter. And let's also use the trim then, enter, select both those, enter, trim off that line. So you're left with that shape over there. And I'm going to turn over to this side. And same deal, X edges, enter. Hold down the control, click that, enter and then select both of these, enter, and whoops, trim, enter, select both of those, as well as that, that, and that, enter, and trim that off. Okay, press escape a few times, and then just add a couple extra lines near the bottom here. So anywhere where there's a downward intersection, we're going to add a line. So one right there, this is going to go vertically down, escape once, Rotate it to this side here, reactivate that tool, vertically down once again. And then for this one here, let's just go ahead and put one here as well, just in case. OK, press Escape a few times. We're going to revolve it back to this side here. And let's give this a shot. I want you to change it from 2D wireframe mode over to the shaded mode, like so. And then we're going to use the press pull command, P R E S S, press pull, enter. And I would like you to click on this shape here and then go over to that corner, click like that, 
revolve it over to this shape here, go to this corner, click like that, and then go ahead and click on that shape there, click on that corner, and then I believe it should be safe to click on this shape as well, and click on that corner. Okay, so you're left with the structure of your steps, and we're going to wrap this up in part two. So take a break, and I'll see you then. Peace.